Hi guys, what's up? I'm Mark Armenta, your friendly tutor, and you are now watching your friendly tutor videos. Our topic for today has something to do with adding shortcuts or a shortcut to your Facebook group or Facebook groups into your desktop if you are using a laptop or into your home screen if you are using a cell phone. Alright, so let's start. Let me share my screen. So for example, you have already opened a... Uh, Facebook group. This time I have opened already the Santa Maria National High School Online Bulletin Facebook group. So first you resize the web browser by by clicking this button, this restore down button. Alright, so if, if you click that button um, or symbol, um, you can adjust the size of your web browser. Alright, and then um, just click the web address here. This is the web address. You click it and then you drag it into your desktop. That's it. That is the simple step of making a shortcut of your Facebook group. So let's try. So let's close this uh, or let's open another uh, link. For example, we have Facebook again and then and then you click this uh, this shortcut so it will load into your Facebook group let's just wait let's see let's maximize it's just Santa Maria National High School all right so it works so, how about uh, making this shortcut personalized or customized? So, if you are going to right click this one, uh, then you click properties, then you change the icon. Okay, and then you choose the icon. What if you want to have a personal icon? For example, the, uh, your picture or a logo so let's have a picture of or a logo of Santa Maria National High School let's have this one yes this one if we, if we want to make a, an icon out of this one so we're going to do it online by going to this link all right so it's image that online convert.com so here we are going to convert a jpeg into um, an icon that ico ico so let's choose this logo for example logo agro open and then let's wait for some time then we start conversion starting conversion And then you download it. It's already downloading. Let's just wait. And then a oh, six seconds left. Eight seconds. Twelve seconds. Sixteen. Thirteen. Twenty seconds. Balik tayo timer. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Let's wait. Let's allow this one. Oh. So let's uh, look for that icon. Okay, so let's copy this into our desktop. And then, so this is that icon, an icon. 
So again, we right click this shortcut of the Santa Maria National High School Online Bulletin Facebook group. We right click it and then go to properties, change icon, then we, we browse it. And let's look it in this desktop. Oh, this is the icon. The item type is icon. And then you click it and then you click open and then you click OK. Then you click apply and then click OK. That's it. We have now a personalized um, icon for a shortcut for your desktop. So just repeat the process if you want to have another Facebook group and or if you want to have another shortcut for another Facebook group or for other Facebook group. All right, so let's now discuss how are you going to add a shortcut to your Facebook group into your home screen if you're using a smartphone. So let's first go to Facebook. You click it and then you go to your uh, Facebook group. For example, this is my Facebook group where I am an admin. So you click the star here and then you go to your settings. You click it and then you click add to home screen or you press add to home screen. And then you click add. All right, so let's see my home screen. There it is, science uh, something. So I'm going to click this and then, okay, so the group appears. Now let's have another one, another Facebook group that I am not an admin. For example, this one, Bulacan LIS. So let's just click this, this three dots here and then you click or you press add to home screen. Then you click add. All right, there it is. Now we have two shortcuts. So for for it to manage it uh, easily or to arrange it, we're going to make a folder. How? So you just long press Bulacan LIS this one shortcut, and then you drag it over the other shortcut. Then automatically it will form a folder. All right, so. This is how you're going to arrange or, your, or manage your Facebook groups so that you, uh, you can easily locate them. That's all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.